Hey guys. Okay. So I'm going to do a what's in my hospital bag. It's been requested quite a bit. If you're not having kids, there is some information that I'm going to tell you that um, might be informative to you. I wish I would have known some of this stuff before I was even thinking have a kid, having kids, just so I knew it. So I'm going to go over what's in the hospital bag. This There's the hospital bag slash diaper bag. It's just a fossil regular bag. It's not even a diaper bag, but it's really cute. So let's just get started. Uh, these are the sleepers that I have for him. I have five. Now here's my question for you guys. You have to help me. Um, you tell me, because when you have a baby, it's kind of like a special thing when right after they're born and they bring the baby to you is a special outfit. And then when you take them home, it's like a big deal too. Um, so tell me which ones you guys like best. And that would help me so much because I'm super confused. So with my first, this is the outfit that we used. My cute friend Ashley gave it to me. Thanks, Ashley. Um, and then he just wore the hat because he had an awesome cone head, which new babies usually do. And then this goes with this outfit. It's so cute. My friend, yeah, she did an awesome job on that. But, um, so we did this with my first and I kind of want to do it with my second because it's just cute and I love it. <laughs> and then this was the one that we took my first home in and I still love it. So that's why it's in this bag too. Um, it's just cute. It's got a little, you know, hat that goes with it. Um, and it would probably go with that blanket. And then I'm out of breath. Sorry guys. This one's just a monkey one and I kind of got obsessed with the little booties with the faces on them. You'll see that in the next few outfits. <laughs> but this is another cute one. It's just soft. Feels kind of like fleece. And then there's the blanket. And then this one is cute. It's just stripes. Um, it says handsome on it. And it's got little booties, little doggy booties. And then a cute little doggy butt. <laughs> I liked that. And then there's a little hat that goes with it that I just paired with it. And then this one's just striped. This one's probably my least favorite, but I don't know. It's so cute. And then it, I just put this little hat with it. It's as cute as can be. It's got the booties, and it's also got the frog butt. So, And this one I would probably put with that blanket because of the greens and stuff. But, yeah. And then I just have some extra shirts, um, some cute little booty shoes, some pants, some hand things so he doesn't scratch his face. A cute little Michael Jordan onesie with some Michael Jordan socks. Um, yeah, so tell me which outfit you guys like best. Which ones we should do for like right after he's born and uh, right, to take him home because I'm confused. Help. Okay, and then here comes all the crazy stuff. So the cloth diapers, I've already shown you guys those. These ones are just the all-in-ones. These ones are the pre-folds, which are old school. We've got some snappies, and then these are the covers that go over the pre-folds. These are fitteds. I've heard these are awesome. You have to put a cover with them, too. The, but, yeah. I think I have, like, 15 to 20 pre-folds, because I don't really care if these get ruined, because I, like, I think I'm going to like these better. But um, I know the first poos for babies is, like, pretty intense. So if those get ruined, I can just chuck them. And then I've got cloth wipes. They're really just washcloths. Um... I think I have like 15 of those. Guys, I'm out of breath if you can't tell. <laughs> and then I have some disposable liners. These will go inside of those so that, you know, they don't get ruined or stained or whatever. And I can just throw these away. Like if he goes to the bathroom and I can just take him out and flush him. Um, and then I got, okay, so after you have a baby, they take the baby with the dads and they, um, and they give him a bath. And I don't want them giving him a bath with bad products because <laughs> I know they don't use the best. No offense, hospitals, but I know the one that my first one, they, they used a product that I wasn't a fan of, but I didn't really think much of it then. But now I'm all geared up and ready. So I'm going to have my husband have this. And it's just Earth Mama Angel Baby Body Wash and Shampoo. And it smells really yummy. And then it's like a foam too. It just comes out as foam. And then this is Burt's Bees. Milk and honey, it smells really yummy, and it's natural. And then I've got some coconut oil. That's kind of for, like, uh, chest cream, you know, like when you're breastfeeding, nipple cream, whatever. Sorry, too much information, I know. Uh, teacher oil, because I take that everywhere with me. You guys know that. And then this is wipes solution. So I just spray this on the wipes to get them wet, and then I just wipe his bum. So, yeah. Or I can just use water. Either one works. And then these are BPA-free... A vent, I believe, pacifiers, because they give them those blue pacifiers, and they're not BPA-free. I was researching everywhere trying to find the blue ones that are BPA-free, and they're not. So I just bought these. They're clear, though. Like, that's going to kill me. I'm going to lose them, and I'm not going to be able to find them. Okay, and then I just made some breast pads the other day. 
I'll put the tutorial down below from the website that I learned how to do those. They're really easy and really cheap. And then these are kind of funny looking. <laughs> Don't laugh. Um, these are cloth mom diapers, basically. <laughs> um, and if you know what I mean, like instead of disposable pads for postpartum, um, I'm going to use cloth just because when I was doing research on the diapers, I found out that all the chemicals that they put in the diapers, they put in mom diapers and um, tampons and stuff. And so not that I would use tampons right after, obviously, I don't think that's good at all, probably. But it, anyways, so it kind of freaked me out and I got all granola -y again and decided I'd buy a bunch of um, cloth mom di mom diapers and <laughs> my husband was like uh those are so huge like seriously it's like the size of a ruler I can't even believe <laughs> how big it is but whatever so I got these off eBay they're really cute I love the designs the little monkeys and these snap around your underwear if you can see the snaps they snap together around your underwear so just like that so they don't move around or anything and, um, yeah, I got them on eBay. I'll put the lady below who I got them from. I got a really good deal. I'm just curious on see how, how well they'll work, but I got a really good deal. So I'll put the, her eBay link below. And then these I got from Party in My Pants. I actually, <laughs> isn't that funny, Party in My Pants? I actually um, got this for free, and I'll put the link below because I put a blog post on how you can get it for free. You just pay shipping, which is awesome. So if you want to try them out, you know, that's a panty liner. But, um, yeah. That's that. They're cute. And I have a bunch more coming of these from a different seller because I wanted to try different kinds. This is just Earth Mama Angel Baby Milk May Teach just to help your breast milk come in. And then this one is my favorite thing and I wanted to tell you guys about this real quick. So my sister-in-law told me after I had my first baby that um, when you're pregnant, your bones have like a, a hormone in them or there's something with your body where your bones are able to move. They're able to move, um, obviously, so the baby can grow and, and not break. Um, which makes perfect sense, actually. And she said, after you have a baby, your bones will still have that ingredient or whatever it is in them for like um, th up to three months or something like that. And she said, if you get a girdle that'll cinch your waist together quicker, it'll actually help bring your waist smaller quicker and um, might even take it smaller than it normally would without a girdle. Does that make sense? So it kind of just brings everything together, helps it all go right back into place where it's supposed to. And they have before and afters of moms that like, Literally had a baby two weeks before on their website, and they look awesome. So I'm super excited. I'm not expecting that, but if that happens, I'll be excited. They have a ton of other brands. This one's a more expensive one. There's like Belly Bandit. There's, I don't know, but I wanted the more expensive one just because I don't want to mess around with this stuff. Like, I want it to work. Well, this was like, like I said, it was pretty expensive. It was like 100 bucks. so it better freaking work. Just kidding. No pressure, Belfit. <laughs> Anyways... So yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, and then I have a wet bag. I forgot to say that. And that's basically just like a big garbage bag, reusable for all the cloth diapers and mom diapers and all that fun stuff. So yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching guys. And there's my hospital bag. Wee.